This video, as the title suggests, is a crafting guide for new and kinda new cards players. The aim is to provide help to anyone who fears they would waste a wildcard crafting something bad in avoiding that. Because of the length of the matter, this will be a three part mini series. The first one is the intro Germany and US, the next one is Soviet and Brit, and the last one will be Japan and Miners as they go so well together in pop culture. And just some general wrapping up on, on top of that. Now generally, the best use of wildcards comes sparingly and while improving on decks one already has, therefore checking specific deck lists or asking about them on Discord are good ways to go. And ultimately I'd recommend to you stick with improved starters in the very beginning, uh, a mixed bag of which is out in the public. But tons of times someone just gets a wildcard and wants to know uh, what's a good card to spend it on. And there could be good generic advice given in that regard. I aim to provide that here uh, with this list and some context on top. The recommendations will be organized by nation and rarity and obviously by importance as well. And you know that's why I could divide it uh, up into more episodes to uh, make it a bit easier to consume. Now one might get intimidated by the amount of cards that I'm going to mention, but by no means uh, would one need all of them to be competitive, reach FM and so on. The list is lengthy because I wanted it to be exhaustive enough to be of use to players uh, not only a couple of weeks, but uh, months into playing cards as well. Note that these kinds of things do change slightly with expansions and rotations. Uh, I will make a new list during the summer of 2024 to reflect that, but one should keep an eye out on uh, release notes uh, to not craft anything uh, that's about to go out. Also, this is not a tier list of all cards. I'm excluding cards that uh, you get the needed amount of in the early uh, levels as fixed rewards, and you do get some good cards like that. The issue is that, although rarely, these uh, early fixed rewards change as well, uh, so I highly recommend uh, to get uh, all nations to level 12 and getting all of these uh, before you start crafting, just in case this guide gets slightly outdated by the point uh, you watch it. But it's time to get uh, to the thick of it, Germany, edits. Uh, there are some that uh, can pretty much improve any deck. Heinkel, Jagdbomber, Comet, and Neshub. Uh, now, out of uh, these four, I like them in this order, uh, but uh, admittedly Comet is the most flashy one, although not uh, the most powerful one. Uh, but uh, Comet could carry you on lower ranks and so on and so forth. If you want uh, something flashy out of the really uh, great options, then you go there. But I do recommend it. Uh, in the before mentioned order, even though it's hard to really go wrong with any of these. Now the next batch isn't this flexible, but these are still really great cards. From the Deep, Auto Cannon, Leopold and Admiral Hipper. Uh, if you prefer fast decks, I would uh, push Auto Cannon up some, uh, definitely before From the Deep. Uh, and if you prefer slower decks, uh, you uh, could push uh, uh, Leopold up some, uh, but uh, you know, like uh, Leopold doesn't fit into like really fast decks, uh, or even uh, it's even a bit iffy in in mid range, uh, depending on the version. Now there could be many honorable mentions here because there are many surprisingly usable German elites around the uh, tenth spot, but when one gets this deep into uh, crafting uh, at least it's it's more about whatever you fancy really uh, there's aren't really musts uh, so I will only point out one more and uh, that is grief and I'm not just uh, griefing with this suggestion uh, this card is a must in Heinz decks which are solid not the greatest but good enough to get uh, one to you, uh, FM uh, but it's not that flexible, it's uh, not really useful in, in any other type of deck. Uh, I'm pointing it out uh, because if uh, you want to play uh, with German tanks, uh, then the best way to do it is to build a, a fast German tank deck and you cannot uh, have a good one without grief. Uh, now, uh, let's move on to specials. Uh, generally great ones are uh, 20th Panzer Grenadier, Schutzhand, 
and I would put Enigma up here, uh, although there is a slight gap uh, between uh, between these. Like 20 of Panzer Grenadier shoots, and you can put it into pretty much anything uh, involving Germans. Uh, uh, Enigma is uh, the more generic uh, good uh, German draw, uh, but if you prefer aggro and mid-range, then uh, 22nd Infantry is slightly better for your purposes, which will be the next card uh, recommended. So, the next batch uh, are still really great cards, uh, but a bit more specific. It's not like you can just uh, throw it into any deck and it'll be uh, good. 22nd Infantry is a really good draw but only in aggro and mid-range speed, and only in decks that plan on taking the front line. And that's a lot of good decks, but still, uh, you know, not an auto-include in everything. Note that you get one 22nd infantry early on, uh, so only craft one. Uh, Gabriel's Pioneer uh, would be the second. It's good, uh, mostly for stuff with the mid-range speed, uh, but it does sneak into aggro, uh, Although it seems a bit desperate. Uh, the next one would be uh, Panzer Free Age. Uh, now, this is not a really flashy card, uh, but it is a good draw that can sneak into and improve upon many decks. Uh, so it's worth to have at least a copy, and you know, when in doubt, you can just chuck it in, uh, into decks. But it's it's not something that, you know, would just uh, uh, make some of it, I guess. Honorable mentions uh, would be Annihilation, which is a uh, quite good removal, uh, but it rarely fits into anything faster than Control. Uh, depending on, on how slow your mid-range is, it, it might, but uh, it's certainly something uh, to, to look out for. My other honorable mention is the Panzer 3F and 3E uh, e kind of together uh, because these are crucial for Heinz decks uh, and uh, as I've mentioned earlier that is the best way to just to be German tanks uh, up to FM uh, but they aren't that great in, in anything else so I just you know put it out there that uh, some people might really want to Play with German tanks, and and if you want to do so, you would need these cards, but these aren't uh, uh, just generally must crafts. Uh, note uh, that you do get a Panzer Free F copy in early levels, so only craft one. Moving on to to limiteds, uh, from this rarity onward, uh, we'll get into the bulk of uh, what uh, the specific deck is you are aiming for meaning that uh, le uh, generic advices get less meaningful. So I will point out cards that are great, but uh, mostly for certain strong decks or broad archetypes. And one of this is just, you know, straight up mid-range. Uh, and uh, for that, uh, if it involves Germany, then Blitzkrieg is a great card. But you only want to run up to two copies of it. Uh, and you get one at uh, German level 12, so I recommend only crafting one. The other one of uh, the really great cards is uh, Panzer 35T, uh, and you do get a single copy of this early on, uh, so only craft two to get uh, the full set. Uh, other notable things are uh, that uh, Germany have really good uh, removal options, uh, like a uh, sudden strike or tactical strike, I wouldn't craft more than two copies of these because you rarely need more than that in a deck and you know not all decks need uh, cheap removals or not all metas call for tactical strike. Uh, but these are some some generally good cards to, to look out for. My honorable mentions would be uh, Sky Barons and uh, 989 uh, Infantry. The latter is good for a copy or two but only in control, and, and Sky Barons is a bit specific meta call, so if you generally find uh, certain planes to be problematic for you, then just uh, 
craft one uh, and, and put it in your deck. Moving on to standard, the standard issue is that standards give a huge chunk of the particular deck you are aiming for, you know, just like uh, uh, we talked about it, uh, about limiteds. So what's good is really dependent on uh, what uh, the deck you're aiming for is, uh, and it might be better to point out the bad cards instead, but that, that would be an other video. Uh, for example, there are a bunch of uh, standard German Alpine cards, and these are needed for an Alpine deck, but Alpine decks aren't good. And not only these decks do not have high upside, and not even just really high upside, like it doesn't even have uh, FM upside, uh, really. The other issue is uh, that these are crafting dead ends. Uh, these aren't really useful in any other deck, See so if you craft them, then these are pretty much just white cards wasted uh, because it's only good for one thing and that one thing isn't really good, so it's better to just avoid those things. Uh, even though it seems catchy to people a lot. But there are still some good advice that could be uh, given about cards that are standards and generally good. Uh, one of them is the FW uh, 190A, or I just like to call it the Flying 48 because it does the same thing. And I would craft at least two copies of this. It's a really good uh, chunky plane uh, drawing one. It's a really great ability. And it fits into most things from mid-range to control. It is slightly too heavy for aggro, but depending on what cards you have, Two, two big boys do fit into, into aggro, so on budget, you might even put them in. Uh, another uh, really uh, good standard card is Careless Talk. For two or three copies, I, I wouldn't uh, craft uh, four. And this is mostly for mid-range and control, but uh, if you feel like your deck uh, misses some good one drops, you can just uh, chuck in some Careless Talk uh, and uh, go slightly lighter on, on one cost than you otherwise would have. Uh, so, you know, it's uh, it's really good to, to round up certain decks, uh, even though it, not it might not be optimal in everything. It's a, it's a really flexible card. I do have some honorable mentions here. Uh, one would be Combined Arms, popularly shortened as CA. And four copies of this is uh, the key for an entire solid and cheap archetype that could uh, get one to FM quite fast. But it is only good in one deck. Uh, so, you know, I can't put it that high up in, in the crafting order. You will get two of these early on, uh, so only craft two. Another uh, great standard card would be 101 Infantry. Uh, even though it's not incredibly flexible, it still uh, fits into a handful of decks uh, really well. Combined Arms, Spinster, Swag High Roll. It's a really solid mid-range filler as well. Uh, so it's it's one of those like kind of flexible uh, good cards. Note that you will get fun of it uh, in the early levels, so you... Uh, should uh, only craft three to get to the full set. Another card that I'll mention is Spencer 2-8. Uh, it's a really good uh, one drop. Uh, funny enough, you do get three of these, uh, but uh, when you want it, you generally want the whole set. Uh, so I would uh, craft that last one out uh, at one point. And uh, the last one in this list is uh, uh, SWG, or uh, more commonly known, Swag. Even after the nerf, uh, it's a pretty solid, but uh, not overpowered unit. Now it's time for the USA. USA is pretty much for frontline and ramp as a main right now, and tempo ramp as an ally. But either way, uh, it is a must for ramp. And frontline is one of the best budget decks uh, you can gradually improve upon. And this will uh, affect my advice hard, as I will mention cards that are uh, only good for one of these. Elite-wise, the best US elite is Pathfinders. Uh, it's just great in every reasonable US deck. And uh, as far as uh, really flexible US elites go, this is it. This is the only one. 
but there are many uh, other great uh, US elites, but the role is a bit more specific. Uh, Pier and Sky Train are really good, but only in frontline. Uh, and honestly, these three are what you need for frontline. Not all of them is a must to, to reach FM. So, you know, you can uh, do that with, with less than three outlets for sure. Moving on to ramp. Uh, the second most important car for ramp uh, would be Jesco. I might even push it up uh, to first just purely for ramp purposes. But uh, the issue is that is uh, ramp is quite expensive, uh, so you should craft ramp decks later. Now the third would be night bombing uh, for for ramp purposes. Then victory march, uh, P fifty one B, and high altitude bombing. These are all all really good cards. Uh, some have a bit of flexibility, like the you know control, but uh, US main isn't really a control main and, and so on and so forth. Note that although uh, one of first airborne and P-51B uh, could see play both in frontline and ramp, they are suboptimal, at least one of those. Uh, so I, I wouldn't uh, rush to uh, craft them, even though in some sense they have flexibility, because they are suboptimal, it's not really. Uh, the flexibility you want from an elite. Specialized for frontline, Red Devils is great. So uh, so is Hellcat. But you will get one uh, copies of each of these. Uh, Hellcat comes from uh, German level 12, if I'm right. Uh, and Red Devils is somewhere uh, in the US levels early. So only uh, craft one each. And uh, the third would be Devil's Brigade. Now, Devil's Brigade is uh, more flexible than the other two because it's uh, good into, into many other decks, uh, uh, but uh, it's a bit less important uh, in, in Frontline. An honorable mention uh, would be 99th Infantry. Uh, because the spots are tight in Frontline, there are some lists, uh, mine included where 99th is flexed out. It's a, it's a really good card, it's just... Uh, if you're talking about uh, great decks, then good cards will be left out. For ramp, uh, the best special is production order. It's uh, a huge part of your win con. It's an insanely good card. Uh, another uh, good special is B-17 uh, Flying Fortress. You generally, you like single target removals in ramp, and that's a really good body to have. And uh, Quartermasters is a good drew, but mostly uh, for US main, you probably won't uh, spend your ally spots uh, for this. And that uh, pushes uh, it down significantly. I knew that uh, Devil's Brigade could be uh, used uh, in ramp, and uh, depending on the list, it might be the thing you want. It's just uh, not as important in, in ramp as these uh, three. For limiteds. Fifth Ranger is the most important uh, one. It's great in every sensible US deck. For Frontline, I would uh, add uh, M10A1 uh, to the list of good limiteds, but it fills a similar role than a uh, half truck, uh, which you get some early on. M10A1 is better in most situations, and mostly because it has a nicer body. It's something that you would switch into your US Frontline deck when you uh, get to crafting it and face some of the half tracks, uh, if not all out. But there isn't that big of a rush of crafting it, uh, as you will have uh, an alternative uh, for it already. For ramp, what you uh, want is basically all the uh, limited uh, ramp cards. Uh, so, Hour of Need, Warbones, and EWS Patrol. Note that you will get one Hour of Need early on, so you should not craft the full set and AWS is only good uh, in US ally, not US main because of obvious re uh, reasons. Now the amount you want and which one you want depends on how greedy your ramp list is. Uh, but let's move on to standards. Uh, for frontline and for Sherman is great, that's uh, your draw engine. But you will get free copies of this early. So you only need to craft one more to finish the set. Uh, 
but finishing the set is a priority in my opinion. Another great uh, standard for uh, front line is 164th infantry. The rest of the standards are, are mostly just uh, budgeting. For ramp, uh, it's war machines. Uh, not not surprisingly, the last uh, US ram card is the last need. Uh, you get two copies of this early on, but uh, unlike uh, the other uh, ram cards, you do want a full set of war machines if you are thinking about uh, ramping. Uh, so. Uh, you should craft uh, two more for the full set. But as I've pointed it out earlier, uh, it's wise to just uh, hold on to trying to build a RAM deck early on because uh, to to have it work, it's it's quite expensive. Uh, also, for machine have seen some high level, pretty much mid range usage recently. It's a really interesting topic, but uh, it's not uh, for this video. Uh, and uh, and with this uh, we will uh, wrap it up uh, for today which is great because I'm a bit sick and my voice is giving up on me uh, so I'm not uh, gonna re-record this uh, many times it just is uh, what it is and the end of uh, part one thank you for watching subbing liking and all that good stuff if you did a beer list of this will be in the description, so you'll have an easier time to check uh, back on some uh, information uh, later on. Uh, see you in the next video about uh, Soviets and Brits with hopefully a bit more voice on my end. Uh, and in about a week.